from a horizontal beam are nine simple pendulums of the following lengths. 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 2.8, 3.5, 5.0, 5 and 6.2 meters. Suppose the beam undergoes horizontal oscillations with angular frequencies in the range from 2 radians per second to 4 radians per second. Which of the pendulums will be strongly set in motion? So this is a resonance question. So we're looking for which pendulums will have an angular frequency between 2 and 4, a natural angular frequency. So we're looking for when the driven natural angular frequency, the driven angular frequency is equal to the natural angular frequency. So instead of solving for the angular frequency of every single length, what we'll do is it will go backwards from the driving angular frequencies to find the range of lengths. And then we can simply see which pendulums are in the range of lengths. So first we'll do with 2.00. So we have, let's just say 2.00. And we know that, so on the side, we know that the period is equal to 2 pi over the angular frequency, which is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. And if you rearrange this, so the two pi's cancel out. You f do the inverse of this. So omega is equal to root g over l. So this gives us omega is equal to root g over l. So then l is equal to the force of gravity, 9.81 over omega squared. Okay, so then if we go back to our thing, we have the second one is 4.00 radians per second. So we're looking for, we're looking to convert both of these into lengths. So then we have L1 is equal to 9.81. We'll just use this formula over here. And this gives us 2.45 meters. meters. And then L2, using that formula to the right there, is equal to 0 0.63. 125 meters. Oh no, 6, 1, 3, 1, 2, 5 meters. So then we're looking for which pendulum lengths are in between 2.4525 and greater or equal to 0 0.61312. And if we look at the list above here, we have D, 0 0.80, and E, 1.2 is in between. So we have D and E are both in between the range of length that will produce a strong motion due to resonance.